Hello and welcome to the Whatever Weekend stream here at 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to be playing some Star Tropics for the NES. Now, Star Tropics is going to come back into the spotlight a little bit this year because it is on the NES Classic Edition. Now, I'm playing the, the actual NES cartridge, but there are many people out there enjoying it on the NES Classic for the first time, and really, this is the first time I'm playing this game as well, so let's, uh, let's see if I like it. Starter up. I've always heard it's a Zelda-like game, but with some unique mechanics at the same time, so... We'll see if we agree with that assessment. Hey, Firepowers uses, what's up? D-Mazing's here! Hey, D-Mazing, how's it going, bud? Thanks for coming, man, this is awesome. Johnny Boy, also here, he says, I'm here! Thanks, Johnny Boy, you said you'd come back, and here you are. Thanks, man. All right, let's check out Star Tropics. Helicopter ride to an island. Sounds like a vacation. I wouldn't mind doing that myself right now. As long as I had my games coming with me. Oh, that was just the start menu, it appears. Oh, I, I guess I started this at some other point. I don't remember doing that, so we'll just start another one. Another separate 5J. So I want to get it from the beginning. So I'm going to forget if I've done anything at all. Okay. Prelude. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Good old Dr. Jones. Wait, isn't that Indiana Jones? In the Temple of Doom, there was a kid short round. He was always saying, Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Huh. We're going to look for Indiana Jones, guys, I guess. White Ace is here. He says, hey, what's up? What's up, White Ace? Thanks for coming, man. Demazing says, it's been months. I know, I know. You must have been busy or whatever. It's fine. I'm glad to see you. Thanks for coming back. Welcome to the Sea Island! It's a young lad. Excuse me. Mike, I hear you're an ace pitcher. Show me how to throw a fastball sometime. I feel like it, kid. This is literally a pig, and it says oink oink. <laughs> Does that... Oh my goodness, they put a, a butt right on the pig. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Yikes. I'm going to roast a pig for your welcome party. No wonder he's showing us his butt. He's real sore about being roasted shortly. Your Uncle Dr. Jones is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Man, he sounds like an MC. Well, last week I met Dr. J. He was very busy solving some strange puzzle. Is this Dr. J right here? Where do you come from? Americola? Oh boy. Who are you? Stay away from me! Weird things to say, these people. Johnny Boy gives us a thumbs up emote. What he says, or Aqua sang about him in the 90s. Aqua, the only Aqua song I know is Blue. No, 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 no. Aqua was the Barbie girl, right? It was Eiffel 65 who sang Blue. That's right. My uncle in here? This could be my uncle. Shirtless uncle. Feeling uncomfortable about it. Hey, Unc. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coral Cola. And a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some... Bad news. Last night... Try not to be too upset. But your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. We must keep this from the Islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Will you help? No. Fine. Good, you're brave. Then take whatever, blah, blah, blah. Powerful mic. You're an ace pitcher. Use it. I got a yo-yo. Oh, man. It's like a baseball that comes back to you. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. 
find a tunnel in the village, and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. Thanks, shirtless uncle. Uh, Demazing says, I see you hit 2,000. <laughs> oh, you mean views? Yes, I did, man. Thank you. Ninja Squid says, sup. And then he gives me a Bob Ross. Nice. Thanks for coming, Ninja Squid. Good to see you, bud. Uh, Demazing says, hi, Ninja Squid. Firepower says, ninja! So, somewhere there is a entrance. Talk to this guy now, and he goes away, maybe? No, he did not go away. Who's hiding something? Somebody somewhere. Oh, me. Oh, my. When he says, and Dr. Jones. <laughs> Firepoint says, my boy! Ninja Squid. Demason says, firepower, it's been so long. Soon Jay will be over 9,000. Boy, at this rate, that'll be multiple... That'll be over a year away if we're going at the same rate. But I appreciate the Dragon Ball Z reference. New Squid says, hey Jay, I ate some pumpkin pie, really? Now? You ate some pumpkin pie now? You're, uh, you're going ahead of Thanksgiving and just going for it, huh? Good for you, sir. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin pie. You put enough whipped cream on there and I'm good, but... I guess it really is inside the, uh... In the village there. This music's decent. Is this pig sitting over it? Do we have to get them to slaughter the pig? Oh, he says oink oink, and then he shows us his butt. It's delightful. Who haven't we talked to? What haven't we done? Or is it in here? Have you not been honest with me, Mike? Or Uncle, shirtless Uncle Man? Alright, fine. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Find a tunnel in the village. That's all he says. Find a tunnel in the village. Okay, we're, let's talk to the old man maybe in the center again. But first. Find a tunnel in the village. You know, I really would if I could. But I, I already talked to my uncle once. And then I came to talk to you like right away because I figured, oh, it must be in here. Apparently you had to talk to your uncle twice. Whoa! I'm the shaman and... Oh, sister. <laughs> it's quite a gruff voice for a sister. I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost runes. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star. Island sailors look for the Southern Cross, Mike. Many wild monsters await you in the dark below, but remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of the island courage. Good luck. So this is a Japanese game made about an American kid, and their opinion of America is strange, I guess. Uh, let's see, Ninja Squid says, Burb, I'm back. Just a quick burber. Just a quick burb. All right, these are some weird looking, what are they, slugs? Kind of nasty looking. Yo-Yo of Death Time. Look how big your character sprite is. He looks pretty good. Oh, cool. Whoa, lots of baddies. Beat them all up. Now, I wonder if there are other... Ah! He holds up a pause sign. <laughs> I was just curious if it had like RPG type stats at all or or what. Kill the big fat slug. So far it's our only goal. Demazing says, Jay, after the stream, check out my last Instagram post. Okay. 
I can check during the stream, maybe. Now, is one of these like a Switch? Uh, I thought one of these might be a Switch. That might be remembering me playing it earlier, who knows. Just in case. Maybe there's a secret treasure chest. You never know, don't want to miss out on secrets. Oh, okay, goodbye rat. Two stars, I don't know what they are, but we got two of them. Wow! That's why you don't look down at just the wrong time. That's right, guys. Pro tip. Don't look down at the wrong time. I know, I know. It's like a really deep thought. You've never thought of it before, but it's true. Absolutely true. I'm actually curious about um, D-Mazing's uh, post. I think I'm going to go check it out. Wait, on Instagram, what are you, are you D-Mazing on there? Whitey says, guess who played X-Wing last night? I'm going to guess you did. <laughs> How'd it go, White Ace? Did you like it? There's D Amazing. Oh, this is Twitter. My bad. My actual bad. Nope, that's Facebook. Wow. <laughs> fail after fail. D Amazing. There he is. It's a Star Wars thing. Oh, it's a dancing Yoda. <laughs> nice. You gotta love dancing Yoda. Nice one. Demazing says LeBron James. That's who. Silent says hello. How is everyone? Welcome, Silent. Thanks for coming, man. Good to see you. So we're. She's like, this is a dangerous and dark, evil cave, and it's just like full of slugs and rats. I think it's been like exaggerated a little. It's just, this is just wildlife. You must go in there and destroy all the evil wildlife. But it's. They're not doing it. They're just nice little. They're not hurting anyone. That lady just wants to extinguish all. Oh, oh! oh! We're in trouble. Stop that, stop that. We need hearts. Somebody drop a heart, because that would be excellent. Again, I'm thinking there could be secret treasure chests or something, so I want to step on all of these. Is he making a squeaking sound when he jumps? Okay, then. Nice. Manly sound. Oh, it's just the sound of the hearts. The low hearts. Ah, I was very confused for a sec. Man. Whitey says, oh man, it's so fun. I'm picking up the Awakening Core set and the Rebel Aces pilot set. That's awesome. I thought you might like it. I'm glad to hear it, man. Now, just be careful, as you've seen, it can be very expensive. So don't don't go into it thinking, I have to have every awesome thing ever, because every single expansion has some cool upgrade or pilot. So, have restraint, just go for the ships you like best. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I, for a while, was buying everything, and woof, it's expensive. Very expensive. Especially like the epic sized ones. Oh. Sound says my water heater broke and now I don't even have water until further notice. Well you don't have hot water, right? You still have cold water. You can take a nice cold shower. <laughs> as delightful as that would be. Right? I think that would be how that would work. I'm missing something here because There we go. Aha! Nice. I told you to be hidden secrets. I'm nervous. 
Oh. Oh. Boy, I really need to get some hearts. That's annoying. <laughs> Demazing says, this is a scary dark cave. You might die. Here, take a yo-yo, right? It's exactly how that went. Unbelievable. Ninja Squid says, Jay, I was playing some Battlefront. Nice! Last night, and I didn't have PSN, but they added some online modes to offline. So I played Walker Assault. Nice! That's awesome. Yeah, they, they added, what is it called? I think Skirmish. And it's actually split-screen uh, Walker Assault, essentially. That you can do local multiplayer. It's nice. It was a nice addition. Very few games on modern consoles have split-screen, so... Oh! oh! I thought that was the end. How did I get a heart? If you get enough stars, does that equal a heart? It might be, it seems. Cool. Oh, and that's a weapon. Huh. Fireproud says, if you type LeBron, Re LeBron James into word with French autocorrect, it becomes LeBron Jambes, which roughly translates to the brown legs. Wow. Hashtag weird fact of the day. <laughs> that is a weird fact. Nice. It's kind of funny. I like it. I wasn't sure which way to go first, so I went this way. Ooh. Something we definitely don't have yet. Blip. Is that like extra health or something? We're gonna find out. There's a lot of hopping in this game. What he says, I played last night as a TIE fighter in the Decimator. Oh, the Decimator is a classic. People love the Decimator. It's a great ship. It's so unique. Oh, man. Some great stuff. Uh, I think you said your friend had a lot of things, so... That's good, to, to have a group of folks that all share. That's extremely cheap. Are you kidding me? First of all, kid can't swim. He's going to a tropical island. That was a mistake. He should have learned how to swim first. Second of all, I feel really gypped. <laughs> that was extremely cheap. Alright, let's get this backup weapon here. Let's go get our two potions and come back, since apparently... The other direction is not an option. Or going too far is not an option. Wait. That way isn't open. What? Must have to stomp on something else yet. There we go. It's weird, though, that he can't walk off tiles that are right next to each other. It's like, just take a step, bro. You don't have to jump, do you? The answer is yes, you have to jump. Also, if you just tap a direction, he doesn't walk that direction. He just looks that way. You have to, like, hit it twice for it to work. It's weird. But so far, though, I think this game's pretty cool. Very weird, but very cool. Alright, now we just leave, because we know that ends very poorly. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh! Snake! Snack! Get the snack! Do not step on snack. Whew. Uh, Silent says, we had to shut off the water or else it would leak. Oh, that kind of broken. Ah, uh, that's not cool, so you can't use the toilet either. Yikes. I'm sorry to hear that. Fireparts is rip water pipe. 
Ninja Squid says hopping simulator, right? Pretty much. It's basically how that goes. I don't know how to use that potion. If I even can. No step on snack. Oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't think he'd change directions on me. I thought he was unidirectional. Well, I'm so not going for those potions anymore. It's a waste of my time. Let's see. Firepower says lol. Ninja Squid says rip kid. Yeah, in the water. Why he says, yeah, I was trying to hurry up and pick my points out, so I didn't have time to really read the cards and stuff, so I had a really crappy setup, but I had so much fun. That's the thing, though. Sometimes you put a lot of thought into a setup in uh, X-Wing, and you're like, this is going to be great, and you play it, and you're like, wow, I was absolutely demolished by my opponent. And sometimes you face somebody who has exactly the wrong build for what you have, and you're like, uh-oh. I can't win against this person. Like there was this, uh, there was this time, uh, White Ace, where I had this build, and it was a crit machine. It was just uh, forcing criticals all the time based on focus tokens. But I faced this one build. Oh boy. There was one build that I faced that. Um, the opponent had this character that made it so I couldn't get focus tokens. So I was worthless. It was bad. Basically, I just have to sit here because I don't know when he's going to throw a fireball or not. Hey, it worked. Oh, he made it. I thought he was going to jump into the water and die as usual. That one piece of spine is like all light colored. I'm gonna save a state here and jump on it. Oh, I can't. Okay. Firepower says that was cheap, right? Get the snack! Firepower says as a game developer, you should never reach the point of making a cheap death room while making your game about checking rooms, right? So dumb. Firepower says the snack is coming. Ninja Squid says, the snack is coming for yo. Right? These snacks, man, they get me. They're so good. They know just how to kill me. Hey, we made it! Wow, you've done it! Look at those points. All the points. Give them all to me. Did I get rid of my little, uh, torch? I guess. Firepower says, Jay just got bamboozled. I got bamboozled. And then they just quit. That, that is one giant snack. Yeah, man, that was a massive, massive snake. Hi, I'm Baboo, Dr. Jay's assistant. Mike, you know Dr. Jay has a submarine. I do, apparently, know that he has a submarine. Called Sub C. The ID code to start the engine of Sub C is 1492. The year that Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Memorize the ID code. I wonder if that's the reason why they chose that that year or that number that code. Please get on board Sub C in the laboratory. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of of. Oh no, that was a mistake. I don't know what he's afraid of. I thought I'd learn if I talked to him again. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hey, little robot buddy! I so did not expect that. In the cockpit of Sub C. Welcome on board. I am the navigational computer of Sub C. Call me Navcom. Input the ID code now. ID code 1492. Start engine. Aye, aye, Captain. Sub C is ready to launch. All ahead full. Woo! Go, little ship! Go! And they're, like, waving. Did you see him? We got six viewers right now. Wow, thanks, guys. 
Let's see what we got in here. Nobody we didn't already know. Well, if somebody else is watching, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't currently follow me here on Twitch, please do. I'm a small streamer and I can use all the support I can get. You're actually the ship now. This is kind of cool. Cannot go in the shallow water. <gasps> Dolphin! Nav, come here, Captain. She is a female dolphin. We'll begin translation. Please find my son. He has disappeared, Captain. Oh, Captain, may I promise her to find your boy dolphin? Sure. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you. Please find my son. No prob, Dolphmeister. Kind of sounds like Dolph Lundgren. I like it. I'll gladly find Dolph Lundgren's son. This one's for you, Dolph. Hello, I'm maintaining the lighthouse. So you're looking for a boy dolphin, sorry, but I have not seen him. Oh, please visit my wife at our south home. She enjoys company. Okay. Cool. She's gonna give me like a cookie or something? <laughs> Something to make them worth my while, or... Ah, okay, we're stuck here. Can we go under some of this land? Ooh, what was that? Ah. There, there's the south home. We'll check her out and see if she'll give me a cookie. Silent says, I streamed today for a short time. You did, Silent. That's awesome. What'd you stream and how'd it go? If I says, Jay, you were doing your robot voice. And I was like, that sounds really familiar. And then I realized your robot voice sounds like Flood. Oh, sure. I can see that. Also, it's just like a classic old timey robot sound. But that's great. Flood from uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Your uh, water pack. Welcome, welcome. It's so seldom my husband and I get visitors. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. But early this morning, I saw a bottle on the beach. I wonder if it's a clue to the lost dolphin. Okay. Well, thanks for telling me about a bottle on the beach. I don't know why a bottle on the beach would be a clue about a dolphin, but... Why not? It is what it is. All right, well, let's go check it out. Wait, wait. Can we get past these? Because that would be great. Does this get me somewhere? Because that would be great. You're now at chapter two. What What prompted that? Oh, select, apparently. <gasps> we have an extra heart! All right. Good to know. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Must be another way to get there. So let's go around the outside. Around the outside. Ooh, other direction. Sound says, I streamed Halo the Master Chief Collection. Nice. My stream lagged like crazy and it stopped itself short. That's not fun. So, in my experience, what that means is that you are probably um, trying to stream at a higher bitrate than your network could handle. Um, so, what that means is you probably have to try streaming in a slightly lower quality. Give that a try. See if that works. I don't know if I'm right, but I could be. <laughs> I'm missing something from somewhere. Something's happening. We gotta get that bottle, is one thing that we've learned here. Do you have anything different to say that we talk to her? Yes, I don't know some secret tunnels. Try searching for them. Okay, well, we've found some. We've apparently missed some others, so... If we 
we come in here, what are we missing? Anything? Hmm. There's like a darker spot of water there. What does that get us? I wonder if you have to like walk in another part to open another secret path. You know what I mean? This game is obviously big on secrets. So there's a lot of exploring, I assume, to find more secrets. around this lady's house? Sign says, I recommend recommended 400 kilobytes per second. I talked to someone else. I need an ethernet cable to make it work better. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, plug into your router. I'm plugged into my router with a big, like, 25 foot, foot plus ethernet cable. There's, yeah, Wi-Fi signal drops and dips and gets peaks and valleys. So, yeah, it'll get a much more stable connection with your Ethernet, absolutely. What did you say, lady? Oh, not again. Walk and search for a secret way. Walk! Okay. So she did tell me to walk. So now we know we gotta walk somewhere to find the secret. It might be back in the original way, so... We might have to go back towards that lighthouse again after all. Alright, let's give it a shot. Oh, wait, let's check the beach again. Just in case. Aha! Look at that! Boom! Grab that bottle! You've got a bottle. There's a note in the bottle. You read it? Help! Captured by evil aliens! Tell my nephew to use code 1776! Hey, that's my Splatoon code. Also the year that America... Let's see, that was, um... Declaration of Independence, right? So they're using codes that are clearly... Um, relevant to America. That's kind of funny. 1492 and 1776. That's great. Wait, actually, I kind of wish I could read that again. Let's see if she gives me direction. Who am I taking this code to? Let's take it back to Lighthouse Guy, maybe? Sound says, well, I need, oh, a 40 to 50 foot ethernet cable to, to do so. My router is at my grandpa's house. It's quite a, quite a long cable. You might need a way to put a couple together. ID code 1776. Aye, Captain. Submergible system ready. Please press B button when you want to submerge. I'm gonna guess these dark spots are the submerged points. And I've guessed correctly. Woohoo! We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have solved a mystery. And we've got another heart container? You've got a big heart! Oh, that's so sweet of you. Life is increased! Sweet. Let's make another save, huh? Excuse me. Son says, hey, Jay, I'll burp. We gotta take a shower at my grandfather's house. Okay, cool. See you soon. I like that when you jump, your yo-yo actually goes downward at whatever enemies might be at the ground. Help save your skin a little. Whoa! So not expecting that! Go, run! Never want to see that thing again. <gasps> a baseball bat, a baseball bat, a baseball bat.
bad. That sounded powerful. Like that hurt, you know? I don't know why it's limited capacity when the yo-yo isn't, but whatever. Come here, come here, come here. I'll mess you up. A little nervous. Ah! These bats are deadly, man. Hopefully my own bat is even deadlier. <sighs> I so don't trust these. Go! Ah! Ah! That's cheap! That's so cheap! Now we have to listen to that dumb heart beep. Okay. So far we're still alive. That's something. What are you? Oh, I don't like that. Really don't like that. Just run! Didn't work well. Octorock? Kind of looks like an Octorock. Recycling enemies much? Gotcha. So, did anybody else get an SNES? Or SNES, wow. SNES class could be cool. Did anyone else get an NES classic? Is it just White Ace so far? Also, White Ace, have you been playing it more? And have you found another game that uh, you like more? Or that you're playing for the first time ever that you're enjoying? Or how are you liking it? Oh, let's use the bat to get rid of this guy, because come on. Gotcha. I just need him out of my life. So nervous right now. Oh, two hearts definitely need those. <sighs> Getting nervous, guys. <sighs> okay, well, that's good. The uh, little heartbeat stopped. Oh, I think I see another secret entrance actually. It's like a little extra shading here, you see that? Ah. Eh, crafty, crafty. Boo, 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 boo. Oh boy. Anyone that doesn't currently have an NES Classic, are you looking to get one? I know I am. I don't know when, but I would like to get one, sure. Oh boy. Is this a boss? If so, do I have to like the boss? Can I hate the boss? Can we just pretend that we're friends, but we're not really? Not sure that was a boss after all, it took one hit. Unless it's the weakest boss of all time. <laughs> what it says I tried Donkey Kong. I like the arcade version better. I was playing some Pac-Man and I played Contra for the first time, and there was a side scroller plane game that was really fun. Side scroller plane game? Oh oh you mean a, a shoot 'em up? Was that um was that nineteen forty two? Firepowered finished his homework. Nice, Firepowered. Good for you. Now you can fully enjoy the stream. That's cool. Yeah, Donkey Kong, the arcade version, is definitely better. Uh, White Ace. Actually, my first experience with Donkey Kong was on my dad's ColecoVision, which was a near-perfect version of the arcade game. And made by Nintendo, of course. It was a Nintendo arcade game. And, uh... It was a pack-in title for the ColecoVision, so everyone who had a ColecoVision had Donkey Kong. Now, for people who aren't old enough, 
the ColecoVision is a, a video game system that came out before the NES, and uh, it was the most powerful console at the time, and it had lots and lots of arcade ports on it. It was very cool, but then the video game market crashed, and uh, the ColecoVision went down. I so don't trust these. Come anywhere near me, this bat's coming out. Gotcha. Ah! Okay, I see there's a secret over here. If this room leads to my death, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay. What is that? What was that? Also, lesson learned, um, definitely save before going in strange rooms. What is this? Gradius, is that a game? Ah, uh, yes, that is a game. Nice. That's cool. Gradius, uh, another cool shoot 'em up But yeah, that one is side-scrolling, and I think 1942 is vertical scrolling. Firepower says, I got the Animal Crossing Amiibo update, and although the new features were fun, I was just happy to see my town again. That's cool. I haven't revisited my town yet, but I, I did up to upload... Download the update. Down the up. Up the down. Upload the down date? That seems weird. Hey! This little blowfish, man. He just pops out at random intervals. <gasps> there he is! We gotta help him! I'm coming, buddy! Oh, no, that is definitely the boss, huh? There is no mistaking that. Oh, that... Come on, really? Oh, shouldn't have jumped there. Come on, yeah, I got a couple of hits. It's good. Ah. I should get the bat out, maybe. Ah! He's getting harder. This boss is no fun. Okay, I got a hit off. Thank you, bat. Oh. oh, that was my own fault. Oh, shoot, now I don't have a bat to help me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There's no way. Not happening. <laughs> I'm okay with cheating a little bit. <laughs> Uh, White Ace, by the way, the Pac-Man version on NES, not the best, but not bad at all. Pretty, pretty decent. But yeah, Pac-Man, Pac-Man is a game that I think, not only is it best in its original arcade version, but it's also best with an arcade stick. When I play Pac-Man, it is like, such a physical feat. I am just so hard on that arcade stick that... And moving so fast and violently, it's not a game that I can play nearly as effectively uh, on a D-pad as I can on a joystick. Or yeah, a joystick, arcade stick. We'll call it an arcade stick. <sighs> but yeah, the NES version is decent. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. <sighs> ah. Oh, shoot. <sighs> we jumped away when we shouldn't have. Yeah, now's your chance, now's your chance. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <sighs> oh. No.
Yes, 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 yes. Kill, kill, kill. Yes. Wow, he's really wigging out. <laughs> See him just sitting there. <laughs> Yay, we saved the little tiny dolphin man. Thanks, bud. Five Hearts says, and I really only ever play Animal Crossing during the summer, so getting to see my town during the autumn for the first time was cool. You know what? To tell you the truth, probably the same for me. I should definitely check it out. You're right. Good call. Someone says, back, my grandfather's door is locked. Huh. Fire Hearts says, can't wait to see it in the winter and spring. Totally. Well, says my favorite Pac-Man is Miss Pac-Man for the Genesis. Miss Pac-Man's amazing, but again, I need to have an arcade stick for optimal performance. But Miss Miss Pac-Man is maybe one of the most perfect games ever made. It's flawless. It's so good. It's so good. Hey, hey, we'll never forget your kindness. Now we must help you. Please follow me. Please follow me. Sound says. Pack Genesis. J Bobo's here! What's up, man? Thanks for coming. He says, yo, yo! Actually, my weapon is a yo, yo, so. Relevant. <laughs> so it says, hey! To J Bobo. J Bobo says, love Animal Crossing, lol. Hello. White Ace says, J Bobo X Wing is so awesome. J Bobo says, White Ace. Haha, <laughs> right? So fun. Firepower says, to J Bobo, you have Animal Crossing New Leaf? White Ace says, I know he played for four hours. We played for four hours. Four hours, man. Isn't that awesome? You can just go on and on. I used to meet with my friend every uh, Wednesday. We played every single Wednesday night, and it was awesome. And then over the weekend, too. But uh, we lived a lot closer at that point, so it was easier to do that. And now I can't really do that anymore. So it was fun while it lasted. We did tournaments and stuff we played so often. We were like, we might as well go to tournaments now. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses subsea. Uh oh, looks like that is upside down. That doesn't look good. I am stranded on a beach. Get up, Mike. Nothing I do seems to help. You awaken to find subsea was wrecked in the storm. It's always strangely calm after a storm. From now on, you have to walk. That's fair. Although I can see it there, so I hope we can rescue it. Jobo says, also don't know if anyone here is into Blood Bowl. Pre-orders are up on Games Workshop. Not into Blood Bowl. Actually, uh, I just got into a couple of games over the weekend. Uh, Dice Masters and Hero Clicks, and I don't know anything about Hero Clicks yet. Just seemed interesting, so I grabbed a, a little set. But I played Dice Masters today with Lauren, and that's pretty cool. I hear they're in trouble already, so, you know, maybe I won't be able to play it for much longer, but it seems like a really cool idea, a collectible, or a, a dice collecting game instead of a card collecting game. It was really fun. I liked it. What's this? this is a big milk tank? You look tired here. Drink some coconut milk. Drink it and feel much better. Thanks, guy with the giant milk tank without a refrigerator. I'm sure this won't hurt me at all. Uh, word of warning, do not drink unrefrigerated milk. <laughs> Jibobo says to Firepower, yes, new leaf. Firepower says, yo, we need to friend each other in 3DS. What's your friend code? Jibobo says, I'll have to look it up. Give me a minute. It says, KK. Okay. What he says, me and my friends were also dads. Don't get very much time out, so we pick one Saturday out of the month and we play board games and retro video games. We call it Dad's Night Out. I like that, man. That's awesome. Good for you guys. Y you gotta have time like that to just enjoy yourselves and, you know, be more than more than just a uh, more than just a parent. You gotta be yourself too. So that's great for you. Good man. Glad to hear it. Joe says. Dice Masters is a lot of fun. J Bobo, why do I feel like we would be, like, friends if we were in school or something? <laughs> Obviously, we have a lot of similarities here. 
age, not, not uh, the least of which, too, because we actually could have been in the same class, probably. Oh, I'm like, why is my mind exploding? Here we go. What is that? Ebola? Nice. Or Bolo? I forget what they're called. Bolo. I think Bolo is a tie. <laughs> and the Bola is indeed a weapon, which I believe... I've seen used in, like, uh, I think it's was, was the Batman TV show. I think Robin liked to use Bola. No, 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 Batman used Bolas. He'd use a Bola to uh, tie up the feet of villains or whatever, or their arms. Incapacitate them or immobilize them, rather. Uh, I believe it was invented as a, a device to capture birds. You chuck it in the air and try and capture birds, strangely enough. Regardless, it's a cool weapon, and I like it. So far, it's my only, like, long-distance weapon. Really long distance, because it goes more than two spaces. What he says, only the coolest weapon ever. I always wanted one of those. The Bola? That is really cool. You know what it reminds me of? Oh my goodness. White Ace and J Bobo, you're gonna remember these things. It was a toy that was like three like plastic balls on a string, and I think they would light up, and you would like juggle them by having the third one like rotate around the middle one by bouncing it just the right time, and you could like bounce it side to side, and that was doing this really cool rotate side to side thing, and. It was, like, supposed to be the new yo-yo. And you get two of them going at once, and you're like, I'm so cool! And they got flashing lights that would turn on while you're doing them. You're like, this is the coolest thing ever! Everyone in the world's gonna want one! Died. Like, immediately afterwards. But they were, like, really cool for, like, three months. <laughs> I hope you guys remember what those things were, or what they were called, or just that they exist, because that's amazing. I cannot believe I just thought about that in this moment. I never thought that I'd think about those things ever again. <laughs> I can't remember what they were called, though. So if you guys remember what they're called, that's going to be, like, super impressive. <laughs> Joe says, Haha, you're probably right. Firepower says, I don't know why I just thought of this, but and why I'm saying it now, but whenever I'm playing an RPG that allows full character stat customizations and class and all that, I always go to high physical attack and a lot of buffs. I know what you mean. Like, when I play games like that too, it's like I seem to favor certain things. I can't think of it off the top of my head because it's actually kind of been a while. That was so cheap! That was incredibly cheap and I didn't save in a while, so I can't even like... Oh my goodness. Shame on you. Wow. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Those are cheap tactics, man. Alright, give me that bola. Uh, Bobo says, also, if you like Dice Masters, you'd like Quarriers. Same creators, very similar mechanics. J Bobo, Quarriers came first. Dice Masters is actually a deeper version of Quarriers. So I did play Quarriers before, and uh, Dice Masters seemed more fun to me because, well, it's collectible, and it was uh, actual licensed properties, Marvel and DC and stuff. And, yeah, after playing Quarriers and playing Dice Masters, to me, Dice Masters is more fun hands down. But there would be no Dice Masters without Quarriers, so. Yes, good good call. Whiz Kids. They seem to make a lot of stuff that doesn't end up being all that popular, sadly. If they do end up stopping making uh, Dice Masters, I really hope that, like, Fantasy Flight picks them up, because Fantasy Flight is, like, made of gold. They seem to make lots and lots of things that are super successful now. And I love it. I think their original big hit was what? Um... Ooh. Um, Warhammer. And then uh, they've had success now with uh, X-Wing and Armada and 
all sorts of games. Uh, in Minnesota, they have a game center here, Fantasy Flight Game Center. And uh, there's a giant area where you can just play games, and they're open until like midnight every night. And then they also have a storefront with a bunch of games, and you can also try out any game for free. Uh, but, oh, come on. You have to be so fast. Why didn't I save before I got there? That was dumb. That was my fault. Anyway, you can uh, order drinks and uh, food while you're there. And you can play games for free or bring your own stuff. They have tournaments hosted there. I once played a Smash Brothers tournament there, too. There's a big event space that they rent out. It's really cool. Anyway, if Dice Masters goes under, or WizKids drops Dice Masters, I hope that uh, Fantasy Flight picks it up, because it's really cool. Boop, 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 boop. White Ace says, yeah, I had one of them. Nice. Uh, my mom took it away from me because it was I was hitting my older cousins with it. <laughs> yep. That's about what it was used for. It was right, it was essentially Ebola. You, you could really whip those things and really hurt someone if you wanted to. They were they were pretty cool, but there's nowhere near the the depth of um, of a yo-yo, what you can do with a yo-yo with that thing, whatever that was called. Fireproud says, if anyone wants to friend me on 3DS, my code is that big number. Friend codes, man. Jimbo says, oh yeah, those things were garbage after people realized you had to work to be good at them, lol, and I have no idea what they were called, lol. <laughs> Whitey says, have you guys ever played Bit Boss? It's a card game. Bit Boss? Do you mean... Um, Uh, what is it called? Is it called Bit Boss? I think it's called something else. It's the one where, where it's 8-bit style. And you're like building a dungeon to try and uh, defeat heroes, right? Yes, I have played that. I, I have actually that game. What is it called? Is it Dungeon Master? I don't know. But I think I know what you're talking about. Now, if there was health in here, that would be optimal. Uh, Jibbo says, yeah, I have all the Quarrier sets. I seem to enjoy them better. Oh, okay. They seem to be, have deeper combat to me playing um, Dice Masters. But to be fair, I've only played Quarriers and one of the expansions. And I know there's like four of them, so I'm missing out on some of it. Jibo says, Fantasy Flight rules, lol. Warhammer is a games workshop property that was licensed out to Final Fantasy Flight, but they recently divorced and no longer have the Warhammer property. So really? Oh, okay. X-Wing is extremely popular now, though. They don't need <laughs> any help. Also, Imperial Assault, very popular. Whitey says, there's a restaurant like that in Niagara Falls. Oh, that's cool. Jibo says, love Arkham Horror. Oh, I haven't tried that. And the Battlestar Galactic game also have not tried that. And he says, yes. Everyone says, Dungeon Boss. That's the game. Is that what it's called? Are you sure? Boss Monster. Boss Monster. He had... That was it. Boss Monster. Jibo says, Boss Monster's the game, and it's great. Well, that was it. Good call. Everyone says, Burb. Why he says, yeah, we played it last time. My friends got together. Yeah, um... I think two-player, it was a little unbalanced, honestly. So, I think, um... I think it's probably more fun the more people you have playing it. And uh, the expansions look like they probably also help things bounce or at least shake things up a little. It seemed like once I had a lead in that game on a friend, like had, once I had the advantage, it was like there was no stopping me. Oh, that was terrible. Load that state. Ugh. What was that, 5J? There you go. It's not that hard to kill this little dodo-looking bird. Make the dodos extinct again! <laughs> so it says, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, two players kind of one-sided lol, right? Oh crap, is this room dark? Could I fall into a hole? 
I really don't know. Ah. See? Super unfair. Weird. How am I supposed to find my way? This is unbelievably unfair. Oh. Can I just walk across maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Whew. Let's not go through that again. You need like a lamp or something. That's super dumb. You gotta have like a ton of lives in this game to beat it. Hey! We did it! I think we did at least. Oh crap, did we not? We didn't! We came out on the side! Oh, that's so garbage! That is sinister. I can't believe they fake you out like that. Wow. Oh, I see. You see the platforms when you come in. Aha. There's nothing I can do. You can only attack in four directions. Gotcha. Do they come back when I leave? <sighs> they do. But now we know a couple of basic things about this map. It's symmetrical. It goes around in a circle. And then there's... Ah, thank goodness. Whew, this game is devious. Not cool, man. J Bobo, one of the things I liked about uh, Dice Masters is that there's actual boosters and you can build out a collection and stuff. It's very cool. Very cool. Let's see, Ninja Squid's back. Welcome in. Sound says, So, how's everyone doing tonight? J Bobo says, Great! I'm doing great! Uh, I'm sitting here playing uh, Star Tropics, and while this game is kind of cheap, it's actually really fun. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this game. Wow, you've done it! I'm actually very impressed, but again, we've been cheating a little, so. <laughs> it is what it is, at least we're getting farther, and you guys don't have to watch me die repeatedly. Like, start over at least repeatedly. You'll watch me die repeatedly, but you don't have to watch me start over. Welcome to Miracola. This is a big house, whatever that is, this house is here. Hi, I'm a brave soldier too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea? Um, er, um, um, I'm getting seasick. I better stay here. <laughs> yeah, very brave. Where do you come from, Americola? Why is everything named Cola? I mean, is everything about pop in America? Is that what they think? I also heard that they made the Super Nintendo weird shaped so that Americans wouldn't put their cans of soda on it and spill on it. <laughs> Apparently they really had some interesting views about Americans and, and pop. I'm so worried. Bennett has been sick for so long. Sorry, Bennett. I miss Mira 1990. You met Miss Coral? Tell me which one of us is best. You're so honest and cute too. Oh, she doesn't like it if you say the other one. <laughs> Our chief loves his daughter very much, but alas, she is very sick. Okay. <laughs> cool. 
Cool story, bro. Hey, I thought it must be a secret. Drink some coconut milk. Hey, Spieler Jake is here. Thanks for coming to the stream, man. Good to see you. He says, what's up, man? Nothing. Playing some NES. What you doing? Um, obviously, other than watching me play. Silent says... Meh to Jibo and then hi to Spieler. Jibo says, why meh? Lol, yeah, for real. Since Jibo, no water. My water heater broke. Oh, yeah, had to shut off the water. Ninja Squid says, now I'm back and had to do something. Well, welcome back, Ninja Squid. Jibo says to Silent, that sucks, dude. Jibo says, indeed. So, Spieler, what brings you to the area? The area being my stream. Are you just checking out uh, retro games or what's the deal? Once the deal sounds hostile, what are you up to? Is that friendlier? Apparently I'm bad under pressure. <laughs> Spieler says, I'm playing Minecraft, because why not? Yeah, that's the best reason to play a game, because why not? Wait, I shouldn't go in this castle? Better not go there. Sounds like I better go there. If he says don't do it, that means do it. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Minecraft, but I know it's, like, one of the most popular games ever made. How many times has it been downloaded? Something like X number of, like, billion times? That's unbelievable. Wait, this is all you have to say? That's it? Huh. Firepoint says to Spieler Jake, Don't we all... That's why I stream, because why not? Because <laughs> games rock, and if you want to join me as I play games, awesome, let's hang out. I feel that we're missing something. There's got to be a secret passage somewhere that we're missing. This was one secret passage, obviously. Down here? I mean, we talked to this guy and he said, go away. All of a sudden he says, I can enter. This is not the first time that's happened. There is something weird about this game. And guards guarding entrances. Something's off there. I'm James trying on out. He is the chief of Miracola. So he's not like a guard or something? I thought that's why he'd be there. I like these weird like close-ups of dudes in weird outfits. I am the chief of Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. I'm just like jumping around to we weird accents. Suddenly, dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Bennett has slept and she will not awake. Please help my daughter. She is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wrecked ship. Hey, not a bad deal. So, how do I go help your daughter, bro? Oh, don't make me regret this. I regret it. White A says to Firepowered, Can you whisper your 3DS friend code? You must have brought him a shrubbery. <laughs> I must have. Thank you, White A. That was an awesome reference. Spieler says, I gave him a follow, because why not? Got him. You gave me a follow? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I really enjoy that. Enjoy that? Yes, yes, I do enjoy that. That's a good yes. Stand it by it. I enjoy it. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I need to get a little thing that like pops up when people follow me. I I know it's out there. I just don't know how to do it. I just gotta do it. So we need to help, but we don't know where to go. 
that guy with the blue hair is the only thing that, that I know of right now that's a weird mystery we have not yet solved. Please visit Bennett once, okay? Where is she? I will do that. I will absolutely do that. Oh, Bennett! Yoo-hoo! Okay, that's not Bennett. For all we know, that was. I assume this isn't... We talked to him and he was kind of funny, but... Pretty sure Bennett is a female, and that was not one. Visit Bennett once. Is there another area I can go? No, there is not. Ninja Squid sends uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> Son says, hey Jay, want to stream Doom with me tomorrow if it is downloaded? Yeah, absolutely. Microsoft Monday, bring it on. I love me some Doom. Let's do it. Why did I talk to this guy? He talks for too long. Ah, okay, we got past him. Where's Bennett? We can talk to her. Okay. I like making her angry because that's funny. Yeah, yeah, she's sick. But where is she? <laughs> where is she? I will visit her. Just where is she? New Squid says, I do like my Bob Ross. I think I already told you guys, but uh, Lauren and I were considering dressing up in, on Halloween as Bob Ross and a painting. <laughs> is that silly or what? visitor just somebody tell me where she is and then I'll visit the crap out of her I'll visit her so much you, you I don't even know how to quantify Joe says anybody score an NES mini white ace did that lucky lucky duck this is burb is grandpa is home we're gonna take a shower Oh, is that a different house then? Grandpa's place? Unsure. Right, you're hanging out. He's the chief. Where's his daughter? Do we miss something what he said here? I've heard of your adventure. Cool. Can I help you? Sure. Yep, stars. Lightning. She'll not awake. Cool. She is upstairs. How do I get upstairs? There must be a secret entrance into this house. And it's gotta be on the north side. Okay, well let's go find an entrance to this place in the north. I think we gotta go all the way around to do this. Eh. It's fine, we'll make it work. Whitey says, I scored one. I only scored one because my wife is awesome. Yeah, well, gotta have connections, right? And just because your wife is in the mob. I assume this is what you mean. I'm just kidding. You tell us the whole story. <laughs> there we go. Man, that was silly. Why does it make you do that? But not a second bed. Oh, you're Mike. Yes, I am. I'm so worried. Bennett has been sick for so long. Everyone says this. She's just sleeping. This guy wanted me to come in here to talk to a sleeping girl? This is why Mr. Blue Hair wouldn't talk to me because I didn't notice that she was sleeping? Even though five other people told me that she was? Thanks, Mr. Blue Hair. You're a grade-A jerk. <laughs> All right, then. You better work this time. Good luck! Unbelievable. Well, all right, then. Good luck, indeed. Saving, but it's not really saving, because this is a Retron. 
Joe says, nice to White Ace. That rules, indeed. That does rule. There's some excellent games on there. Just excellent. Oh, totally didn't think that one through. Still didn't think it through. Yikes. Okay. Boy, I actually think I should reload there so I didn't lose three hearts right away. Huh? Juke! <laughs> Take that, sorcery! Oh, a heart and half a piece. Oh, there goes three hearts anyway. Well, I would have died, actually, if not for restarting. So, still a good choice. I like this music. It's pretty good. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come to daddy. Come here. Only the one snake reaches, huh? Or a snack. That was silly. You need a better look at that room, apparently. <laughs> that is kind of cool. I do like that mechanic. Save going into the room. Look at me learning and such. Aha! Oh, they can cross the water. I was actually wrong about me being safe there. Ha! <laughs> Joe says, so did you sell it for $200 yet, White Ace? Lol. <laughs> Maybe you should. So why is it just this one that reaches all the way over here? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I have no other weapon. I have no other way to get these guys. There's literally nothing I can do. There's gotta be something, right? Huh. What am I missing? Something's missing here. Now oh, it got me. Oh, they both got me. Oh, man. That was not as good as the previous attempt. Whew. Something's missing here. Hmm, hmm. Ninja Squid says, Oh, Jay, I changed my profile, profile picture on Instagram. Well, let's just see what you did. If I can uh, remember your name. Because if it's not Ninja Squid. Oh, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's Squidward from SpongeBob SpongePants. SquarePants. SpongePants? Yikes, doesn't that make me sound old? <laughs> Getting the names of cartoons wrong. Yikes. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Anyway, Squidward from SpongeBob, dabbing. How how much is that a sign of the times? <laughs> should I not let this guy kill me, or should I not kill this guy, or what's the what's the plan of action here? I 
can't imagine what I'm supposed to do here. I don't have any other weapons to use. I actually cannot go backwards. I am locked in here. Weird. Why he says, no, I posted it for $400 and people told me I should be arrested. Yikes. I'm sure it was a joke, or at least I hope so, but... Classic, uh, overreaction. Okay, now that was dumb. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we do restart. Kill all those snakes. Does that drop a weapon? We just didn't try that before. Take that, snack. These controls are still a little wonky. No, that didn't seem to help. Hmm. Jibobo laughs about White Ace's story. So does Ninja Squid. Why wouldn't you? That's just funny. Oh, Death Chicken, man. He's killing me. I don't like Death Chicken. He's not a nice guy. <sighs> Guys, can you think of what I would possibly do here? I'm really at a loss. And this darkness makes it, like, really unfriendly to, to even play this. Do I have to do it in a certain order? Do I have to make them all come after me? Should I kill this one first? And then this other one? Then do the other ones suddenly come out a little further? Look at that, they're just past the distance of my yo-yo. This is remarkably unfriendly. Hmm. I'm gonna do some silly investigating and jump in every possible <laughs> location. Do it this way. That way it's coming out of the pause. This is so strange. I'm... Oh! Where did that come from? That was not there before. How is anyone supposed to know that? Okay, then. Well, it is what it is. Clearly something here. Uh, also, where do I go from here? Nope. This game is unreasonably obtuse. What? They expect us to know this? Uncool. This is, how would anyone beat this game? You would need a guide. There is like no other way. Wow, okay. Crazy. Because you can't see any of this. Man. 
Well, we beat it, and we have a slingshot. First time ever having a slingshot. Let's see. Medium distance. Oh, come on! That's uncool! <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's get the bat. At least that thing does like a 180 degree swing. Save that state. Unbelievable, but they're so fast, it still doesn't work. Ah. Oh. This is so mean. This is so mean. <laughs> Why did this... Is this a Nintendo made game? Because they apparently hate us. They apparently want nothing to do with us. Yikes. That's so dumb. Just barely making it out alive around here. Woo! Why does this man so much stuff to do when you're a mayor? Oh, and Animal Crossing? Yeah, tons. It's a great game, though, isn't it? It's really fun. Have you played any Animal Crossing before? Excuse me, or is New Leaf your first one? Because as far as Animal Crossings go, it's a really good one. Oh! Thank you, Load State. Go! Oh man. Look at me go. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, please say we're almost done with this place. Is that lava? Are we getting into lava territory? I'm feeling like a Bowser level coming on. He says, no, this is my first one. New Leaf, that's great. Very cool, I hope you enjoy it. Joe says, I like the addition of the Meow tickets. I haven't tried the update yet, so I don't know what the Meow tickets do. Ooh. Oh, extra life. Actually, I want to load state, because we had one extra health. Minus one! Hey! I was fooled that time. Apparently we have to do this until we get plus one again. Why? This is mean. This game is mean. <laughs> plus two. Why? It makes no sense, but whatever. Save that state. Jimbo says it gives you more things to do, basically. Okay. Cool, cool. Always a good thing. It's so weird that they put out the first ever DLC for that game, like three years after it came out. It's very strange, but of course we kind of all know in our hearts that it's all because they're trying to sell those Animal Crossing amiibo that have not been selling. So, hey, if it does that, cool. If not, well, what was the point? What was the point? Ah! Ah! Run! Oh! Okay. Come on! There we go. I don't know if I should be trying to jump on all these. Could be a secret. You never know. Megan Rivera is here. Welcome. Megan says, good evening. Good evening to you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking out the stream. Appreciate it. Megan says, this was one of my favorite games growing up. Play the heck, played the heck out of it. Thanks for uh, telling us a little bit about it. So this game is really obtuse in certain parts. Maybe you can help me figure it out. 
When I'm stuck, you could help me. Oh, monster time. Boss time. Yikes. So I'm glad I have an expert in here to help me out. Thank you. Uh, Whitey says, yeah, Meowth. Meow jobs are fun, Meowth. It's a Pokemon in me talking. Jibbo says, like catching trash from the river or pay off a loan. Huh. Jibbo says, hello to Megan. Megan says, I'll do my best. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm having to cheat a little. I have a Retron 5 and I'm using save states. Oh, just one hit on that guy, huh? Okay. I expected him to put up more of a fight. Hmm. Oh, well. There we go. Okay. It's moments of stupidity like that where... Oh, shucks. <laughs> hey, and that went way better. Okay. Where that save state comes in handy. I cannot believe I just jumped right off the side of the level. Well done. <laughs> ah! Unbelievable. I'm playing not so well. Save state once again. Thank you for your service. Alright, give me this. We'll get you. Okay. What was this? Nothing, right? Okay. Now don't jump off the edge. Oh, man. Oh! Oh! You can jump over him? What? Mind blown! Oh, this is not easy. I don't even know if he's actually worth my time. Maybe I should just keep going. I think I should. Just keep going. Save here. Here's a better spot. Fireprod's back! Megan says, when it comes to this game, honestly, it's all about timing your jumps to avoid enemy attacks. That's how you get better at it. That's a good observation. I've seen already, in just the brief time that I've been playing, it does make a big difference. Oh, Bola. Nice. Get him. Oh, no. Ah. What? It was not a one-hit kill? Ah. Come on. I really hate this fly. I just want to kill it. Or bee or whatever it is. Okay. There we, oh, and I needed to, it seems. I did not know that I needed to, but hey. Oh, gotta get over there. Unbelievable. That's the time. Okay. <laughs> Load that state. Megan says, the lava monsters don't give good loot. Mostly, most of the time I ignore them unless they were in my way. Okay. More good advice. Thank you. Let's just keep moving, like Megan says. So far, this advice is amazing. This is a game where you have to explore rooms, but it punishes you for doing so by having random kill locations. That doesn't make any sense. Save it, save it. Silent says, I've returned. Welcome back, Silent. We actually don't have a lot left of the stream here. I normally end around 9 central time. We are past that. But I do want to see what's at the end of this uh, level here. Megan says, yeah, it'll troll you a few times. How do you beat this, though, without having a save state like I have? You know, I'll beat it because I can <laughs> reload. But what happens if you run out of lives? How are you going to beat this game? This is so unreasonably obtuse. So the, the dark area is major troll. Why do I not trust this room? I'm gonna save it right here. Boss? Oh, big time boss. 
Yikes. I don't even know what to do with this boss. What is he? Some sort of lava monster? Mud monster? I cannot reach from here. Oh, oh, okay, well that was dumb. <laughs> you have your bolas! Am I even hurting him? Dude, stop attacking so you can avoid, evade. I have no idea if I'm being effective. Hopefully we are. My bolas are almost gone. Okay. Oh, I bet you I have to hit those two things on the side. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. It's like he doesn't make any indication of being hurt. Okay. Whoa, thank you for all the chats, Megan. Megan says, practice the heck out of it. Uh, having a sharp memory, writing down things when you need to. Same as all the early NES, SNES games, really. Oh, a lot of them, at least. Yeah, totally. Uh, Megan says, no, no, you need to dunk him in the water, avoid his shots, and hit the switches on either side of him. You can't hurt him. Well, I eventually <laughs> figured that out. But now it's a matter of skill execution. And that's the, that's the hard part, isn't it? Oh, there's switches. Wait. But it didn't seem to work, is the problem there. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we gotta find his other switch. There's one in that corner. Let's try down here. Over here? Okay. Alright, we know where the switches are. The triggers are on the blocks you have to jump to. Once you hit the switches, you'll dunk him. Alright, Megan, thanks for your help here. Now let's just see if we can... Okay. <laughs> Wow! Let's see if we can die as quickly as possible is how I should have finished that sentence. My goodness. Okay, okay, so far so good. Save this state because we're big fat cheaters. <laughs> And that's all, folks. Woohoo! Thanks, Megan, for your help. Appreciate it. Oh, it's not over. Or is it? Okay, it is over. He looked like he was ready to fight again. Get off the bolas. Woohoo! If this is the end of the dungeon, we'll probably call it a stream here tonight. Uh, Jibbo says, well, I'm out. Peace to all. Thanks, Jibbo. See you later, bud. Thanks for coming. Firepowered says, so White Ace friended me and is playing Animal Crossing, but I gotta go to bed. So bye, guys, and sorry, White Ace. <laughs> That's all right. In uh, Animal Crossing, it's not really live multiplayer anyway. Not in the same sense as, like, a shooter or something or a platformer. Megan says, I followed you so I could see more of this game in the future. Awesome. Thanks, Megan. Appreciate it. He says, yeah, anytime, friend. Thanks for the follow, I really appreciate that. Firepoint says, sorry I can't visit your town right now. <laughs> it is what it is, that's how things work. You're an hour ahead of me, Firepowered, so it's 10.15 over there. It's kind of a long exit to this dungeon here. Wow, you've done it! All the points, baby, all the points. 
Five Pound System Megan, he's a variety streamer, so you might not see this game again, but if you ask, he'll definitely play it. That's a good point. I do play lots and lots and lots of different games. So, yeah, uh, but I do like to take suggestions in mind. I don't return to many games a lot of times, but here and there maybe, sure. I think we're going to save it here and call it a night, folks. So we'll just finish up the chats, and then we'll uh, skedaddle, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow night. Megan says to Firepowered, okay. And Firepowered says, why is there bot in my sentence? I don't know. Why'd you put it there? And he says, bye for real. Megan says, I'm a variety streamer myself, so I totally understand. Oh, you're a streamer. That's cool, Megan. I can follow back. Why not? Follow for follow. They all say bye to each other. Megan says, uh, glad I met you all. We're glad, too. Thank you for coming and having a good time with us. Sound says, bye, Jay. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I stream uh, pretty much every day of the week. I think this Wednesday I might not have a stream. I know it's Wife Wednesday, and people miss having Poco around. So, too bad, but um, maybe I'll have her another day of the week if we're lucky. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming. Uh, check me out tomorrow night for Microsoft Monday. Sounds like Doom is in the works, so let's check that out. Thanks guys so much and I'll see you next time.